Chaser, Aaron J. Jack in Marshall, Texas for another Storm Chaser food review video. This time barbecue, and this is a beautiful sign when you are getting barbecue. Smoke billowing out of the smoker, smells phenomenal. Look at all this wood they've got back here. We'll have to go look at the wood here in a second, see what they've got. Lightning still flashing behind me. We do still have some tornado warnings coming this way from the southwest, so I still am chasing, but had to stop to get dinner and have some time here, hopefully, to do a little food review video here in the midst of a storm chase. Tornado watch still in effect for this area. Been chasing tornado warn supercells all day, and now it's time to eat. So let's go in here at Bodacious Barbecue in Marshall, Texas. See the sign back here, Bordacious Barbecue. They're gonna close soon, they close at nine, so we gotta get in there, get some barbecue. Well, let's go. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that beautiful wood. This place looks nice. Head inside, man. Oh, closed at eight today. Darn. All right, guys, we're gonna try this again. I'm still in Texas. I delayed my flight just so I could get some barbecue here in Texas and do this food review. Okay, I didn't actually delay my flight for that. I was asked to go shoot some drone footage of the tornado damage that's nearby here where I'm at in Paris, Texas. But now I have found a barbecue place here, Shoals Brothers Barbecue in Paris, Texas. Now, unfortunately, I don't see the beautiful smoke from the smoker rising up like at that place that we stopped at last night. However, I do smell the smoke to a smoker. So they're smoking it somewhere around here. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna get some Shoals, Shoal, Shoal Brothers barbecue with beef, sausage, ribs, and hot links and try this barbecue out here in the key, the capital of barbecue in the world, Texas. Texas barbecue, doesn't get any better than Texas barbecue. Let's go ahead in and get some barbecue. Beautiful little mural here. And you see they're making pig here or cow here they're making beef here and they're making maybe they got some turkey in there or maybe it's they're just preparing for thanksgiving here nice little fall leaf decoration there all right let's go in they are open unfortunately uh, like unfortunately the place last night wasn't but let's go in here. hey how's it going in the heart of Texas. This is where barbecue was born, I believe. Uh, to go. What's that? Oh, do you want to? <laughs> This is the, I was telling everybody here on my, my food review video that Texas is where barbecue was born, so. Oh, you bet, man. I'm a storm chaser and I go around doing storm chaser food review videos, so. That's cool. Yeah. Chasing storms and doing food review videos there. Oh, what's a Texas Twinkie? It's a stuffed jalapeno pepper with uh, brisket and cream cheese. Oh, wow. Bacon. Is it possible to just get one or do I have to get two? Oh, I'm gonna have to try a lot. Voted best plates and platters. So we're gonna do two meat with sides and one of those no, Texas no. Twinkies. Oh boy. Where are you going next? I'm going home. No. No. <laughs> I won't see you. Yeah. Can I do the uh, two meat? Oh, that's it right there. That looks incredible. Oh, yeah. So I'll do that and I'll do the brisket. And uh, sausage. You want the jalapeno cheddar or the mild? Uh, the mild, <laughs> since I already have a jalapeno. Can I get two sides? Uh, I will do the cream corn. And oh, what is this right here?
Oh yeah, I'll try that. All right, guys, I've got my food here, my two meat plate, a little sweet tea, and a Texas Twinkie. Man, I am so excited about this Texas Twinkie. I can't even, I don't even want to stop to do this little update about getting the food, walking out of the restaurant, because we got to get in the vehicle here and eat this Texas Twinkie here in Paris, Texas, Shoal Brothers Barbecue. All right, let's get in there and eat some barbecue. Gonna have to move the laptop here out of my eating location. This is where I like to eat my, my food. When I do food review videos here, it's right here on the seat in the car, especially rental cars, because I can get real messy and don't have to worry about it. So let's get eating. All right, here we go. We got the loaded potato side and we got some, uh -oh, some beautiful barbecue sauce here definitely have to try that out because this is a barbecue place and we're doing a food review video so you have to try the barbecue sauce because it, it's different everywhere you go and then we have got the cream corn oh. but most importantly we gotta find that texas twinkie because i'm sure that's what everybody wants is, is the texas twinkie out of their twinkie Okay. Oh, there it is, guys. Texas Twinkie bacon wrapped jalapeno stuffed with cream cheese. Good grief. You have got to be kidding me. This looks incredible. All right, let's let's try this thing. Okay, here we go. My first ever Texas Twink Twinkie. Uh, the cream cheese has got a nice smoky color to it. <sighs> Smells like jalapeno, bacon, and smokiness and jalapeno. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. I wish you guys got to see my eyes. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, it's stuffed with some brisket in there too or something. Oh my God. So, first of all, a nice smoky flavor, of course. Subtle hints of the jalapeno. It's not too hot. And then it gets cut with a little bit of smoky cream cheese. Look at that smoky cream cheese there. Mm. This is incredible, guys. This is this is. I'm gonna have to start making these at home when I smoke barbecue. Texas Twinkie. I might eat the whole thing. Mm. No, I can't. I'm gonna save a little. Okay. Now, let's say. I think we should try the brisket. Let's try the brisket. Okay. Here is that brisket. First of all, we're gonna pick this brisket up and we can see that there is a nice bark on it. It left a nice good layer of flat, of fat, flat fat. It's got a nice bend to it. Now the meat is a little, it's thick. It's, I like a, a moist brisket. So we're gonna see how this is. Okay, here we go. We are gonna try a piece of this brisket Oh yeah. Mmm. I can feel the smoky life coursing through my veins. Mmm. Excellent flavor. Maybe a little bit too much fat, but I like fat, so. No, it's not too much fat. I like the fat, so very good fat. Good bark. Look at the bark. That is good bark. I'm just gonna try the bark. Oh yeah. 
Of course, all the flavor is mostly in that bark and the fat. But then the slight meaty brisket flavor in the middle. Excellent brisket. This is good brisket. Okay. We've tried the brisket. Well, let's take a look at another piece here real quick. Here's another one. Oh, yeah. Look at the bark. Oh, yeah. Look at the jiggle. Oh, boy. A little bit more brisket. A little bread. Mmm. That's so good. Okay. We gotta try the barbecue sauce. We're gonna dip a little bit of this brisket into this barbecue sauce and give this a try. Mmm. Don't like the sauce. I'm not a fan of the barbecue sauce. It's a little too vinegary. Like apple, like almost like an apple vinegar taste to it. And I don't, I don't like that. Not your traditional. Let me try just. Yeah. Not a fan of the sauce. The sauce is uh, too sweet, too vinegary. Too, almost like too much of an apple taste to it. I'm a traditional barbecue sauce kind of guy. So that is not your traditional Texas barbecue sauce, but it's not bad. It's just not what I like for my palate so okay gotta try this sausage okay here is that sausage still got some barbecue sauce on my finger it's a nice piece of sausage although so i like i prefer a barbecue sausage that is a little more dry and crumbly and this is a little bit more wet see look at all the, the liquid coming out of it a little bit more wet and juicy, but let's try it out. Sausage gone in the hatch. Sausage is okay. I wouldn't come here for the sausage. I've had much better barbecue sausage, but the brisket is really good. And of course, this is what you're going to come here for in Paris, Texas. Shoal Brothers Barbecue. It's this Texas Twinkie jalapeno stuffed with cream cheese, brisket, and bacon. That's where it's at. If you come here in Paris, Texas, you come here to Shoal's Barbecue and you get Texas Twinkies. And that's pretty much it. That's all the food. We got some iced tea. Good tea. No, good tea. A plus. No, sorry. We're going to grade this place an A, an even A, because of the sausage and the barbecue sauce. But everything else, perfect. Beautiful atmosphere inside. Shoals Brothers, Bar Shoal Brothers Barbecue in Paris, Texas. Great customer service. The guys in there were really nice. The guys and gals, very nice. I uh, wanted to smile. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot the sides. Well, I got the sides sitting up here all lonely like. Open this up. Come on. Cream corn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try some of this cream, beautiful cream corn. Okay, here we go. Cream corn going in the hatch. Oh, boy. All over the rental car. It's weird cream corn. Not a fan of the cream corn. It's not sweet. I was expecting a sweet flavor and I got zero sweetness out of it. It's actually kind of salty. Not what I expect from Texas style barbecue cream corn. So that's a little disappointing, but maybe uh, the potato thing will make up for it. Let's try that out. All right, here's that potato salad. Loaded baked potato, potato salad thing. Looks like cat vomit. But we are going to try it. Here goes nothing. Trying the potato cat vomit now. Yep. 
Definitely tastes like potatoes. It's creamy. It's got some, maybe some sour cream in it. It's good. I like the potato thing better than the cream corn. So do not get the cream corn. Maybe get the potatoes. Definitely get the Texas Twinkie and the brisket. Sausage, eh, depends what kind of sausage you like. But I think that's it. I got to get going. I got a flight out of Dallas at 6.30, and I'm in Paris, Texas. I got a couple, I got an hour and a half or so to get to the airport. Uh, so I'm going to get going, guys. I got to get on the road, get going. And until next time, we'll see you the next Storm Chaser food review video. This is Storm Chaser Aaron J. Jack. Hope you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Maybe even consider becoming a member later. Well, I got me a fine wife. I got me all fiddle. When the sun's coming up, I got cakes on the griddle. Life ain't nothing but a funny, funny riddle. See you later, Shoals Barbecue. Thank God I'm a country boy. Thank God, I'm a country boy.